Welcome back to the Janome Creative Studio. You're in the home stretch. We're almost done. If you've been following along, you have your two beautiful large Lemoyne star blocks and your center block with your small Lemoyne stars. Now, if you haven't already made those, don't worry. We have the links provided in the description below. Just click on them and you'll get all the information you need. Now, in, this is the final installment in the four-part video tutorial, and we're gonna tell you everything you need to finish this beautiful table runner. We're gonna put the blocks together, layer them with batting and backing, do a little quilting, and I'm gonna show you how to apply the binding. Okay, now it's time to put our quilt blocks together, and that's very easy to do. All you're going to do is sew the blocks to either side of the center block and press the seams open. Once that's done, now we have to prepare our quilt sandwich. You will cut a piece of batting and whatever fabric you choose for the backing just a little larger than the top of your quilt. That's going to be approximately 46 inches long by 18 inches wide. That gives you some room on either side of the quilt top once you've made the quilt sandwich. Then you're going to layer those three layers together. Backing first, wrong side up, then your batting, and then your quilt top. Now you can use whatever your favorite method is for basting, whether it's pin basting or spray basting, whatever you like to do to baste your quilt together so it holds the three layers and just keeps them from shifting during the quilting process. Finally, you're going to use the walking foot on your machine or you can use the AccuFeed Flex foot, whatever you have for your machine and stitch through all three layers. Pretty easy to do, especially with some straight line quilting or some outline quilting around the stars. You don't need a lot, just enough to secure everything into place. Now let's talk about the binding. From whatever fabric you choose for your binding, you will need to cut three two and a half inch wide strips, selvage to selvage. That means the width of the fabric. Once you have those strips cut, you're going to join them together, either through a mitered edge or just a straight edge. And then you want to press the fabric so it's wrong sides together and you have your binding folded in half and pressed. Now we're gonna move on to the machine and I'm gonna show you how to add this to your quilt sandwich. You've layered your quilt sandwich with your pretty little top, the batting and the backing, and you've done some basic quilting because that's really all you need. This is a project that's meant to be used. I'm hoping that you'll use this table runner every day. Maybe make more in different holiday colors. But once you've got the quilting done, now it's time to apply the binding. So remember, anytime you're stitching through three or more layers, you want to use a walking foot. In this case, the AccuFeed Flex Plus feet. And with the M7, several different options come with the machine. Of course, you could use the standard foot, and it's the double, it means it's wider. But I really love the HP 2 foot. It's the single width and it's just perfect for adding binding to your quilts. It's also great for matchstick quilting, especially for you modern quilters out there. So all we're going to do is take our binding and we're going to align the raw edges of our binding with the backing. And I like to put my binding out of the way and give myself a tail and start about six or eight inches from that tail and then all you do is lower the presser foot and stitch. It's so easy. Now I'm not going to go into a lot of detail here about putting your binding on because my good friend Joanna Marsh, who's a very talented designer, has done more than 10 videos explaining in depth all the different ways you can add bindings to your quilt. Simply hit the bell and you'll be notified when these are available. So, put your bindings on and we'll meet back here. 
You did it. You're all done with your beautiful Lemoyne Star Table Runner. I'm so happy that you finished and I know that you had such a good time. I'll bet you're going to make some more in different colorways. You could do one for every holiday. Now, wasn't it fun to learn all about what the Quilt Block Advisor can do for you on the M7? Everything you needed for this table runner, we got right from our machines. Isn't that awesome? I learned so much about this machine. I'm still learning and I know you will too. Thanks for joining me. See you soon.